Do you want to improve the microphone quality on your VR headset? Are you tired of sounding like you're talking through a two-way radio? Well, look no further. This is the video for you. I've got a few ways here that will turn your voice from robot to golden rainbows and will make everyone in the game lobby absolutely drool over your microphone quality. It'll just make you sound the absolute best that you possibly can, just short of strapping a studio mic onto your headset. To be fair, I know you saw the title and the first two tips here are absolutely free or at least mostly free. And the last tip is a paid option, but that'll fix even the microphone on the Oculus Rift S, which I'm not sure if you can tell, but uh, <laughs> it's got some issues every now and then. And soon, it does this. And well, in case you're still skeptical, what if I told you that this entire intro was recorded using a VR headset's microphone using just the first two tips here? So let's just get right into it. The first tip here is something I've used religiously for years. It's a free software called Voice Meter and Virtual Audio Cable. I use it to mix and manage my microphones and by just using a small number of simple settings available, you can get most of the tinny sounds out of a VR headset stock mic and throw some oomph back into your voice to have a much fuller sound. Generally, VR headsets come with pretty small, cheap microphones, but that doesn't mean you can't make them sound good. I'm going to be showing the results on three levels of headset microphones in terms of quality. The Oculus Rift CV1, known for having an extremely tinny, bass-lacking mic quality. The Oculus Quest, an actually surprising middle ground that's more or less equivalent to an HTC Vive in terms of how they sound. And the holy grail of VR headset microphones, the Valve Index. And I'm not exaggerating there. I think it's often left out in reviews, but geez, does the Valve Index mic sound incredible for what it is. With a little tweaking with this guide, you can easily get it sounding better than even most USB microphones microphones like a Blue Yeti. But enough with our samples, the whole guide for actually setting up Voice Meter is super simple. Download the free software called Voice Meter Banana as well as Virtual Audio Cable. Links will be in the description. Install them and after you install both, you're going to have to restart your PC. By the way, you can totally just download the regular Voice Meter, not the Banana version, but using Banana allows you to have multiple inputs in case you want to use something like a soundboard. And just gives you room to grow without downloading more versions of software than you actually need. So we're all starting Started, launch a voice meter and you'll be greeted with this complicated looking panel. I promise it looks way more complex than it actually is. In case you don't want to mess around with any sort of setting things up, I have two different presets uploaded in the description of this video. One is for if you have a deeper voice, and the other is a general settings that will just enhance your voice regardless if you have a higher pitch or a neutral voice, and I'll show you how to do that after a quick walkthrough of the actual software. The only thing you'll need to focus on is hardware input 1 and hardware out. It's simple. Under Hardware Input 1, you pick your headset's microphone, and under Hardware Out A1, pick VB Audio Point. Now go into Windows Settings and select Voice Meter Output as your primary input device. That's honestly it for the main setup. Your microphone is now connected through a virtual audio cable that will enhance the quality through the power of mixing. But first, you need to actually mix that audio. If you want to go the route of the pre-made presets that I have made for different voice types, you can grab those from the description, and all you have have to do is go to menu, load settings, and pick the downloaded settings I provided for you. If you want to fine tune your settings to your voice to get the most out of the software, here's a quick, quick rundown. This little square called IntelliPan allows you to change the color of your voice. Very basically, up is more treble, down to the left is more bass, and down to the right is more medium. Up and left is more echo, which you don't necessarily want, so stay away from that direction. And this is mostly how you reintroduce the bass that you lose from the tinny or low quality mic, and we reintroduce it here. This knob is a gate effect that introduces a small noise gate for your microphone so it's not constantly on. And next we're going to be using fader gain. To put that simply, increasing the gain here makes your mic's signal louder. And by tweaking those settings or adjusting the ones that I gave you to use, you can get your microphone to sound significantly better. This actually works on any microphone you have connected to the PC, whether that's a fancy XLR mic, a blue snowball, or a VR headset. All you have to do to change change it is to change the hardware input to whatever mic you're using. I do this for whatever mic I have connected to my PC at the moment, whether that's my headset or my big mic or something else. So what kind of change can you expect here? Well, let's do a quick comparison. Here's the CV1. The Colt reared and threw the tall rider. Voice meter off. The Colt reared and threw the tall rider. Voice meter on. The Oculus Quest. The Colt reared and threw the tall rider. Voice meter off. 
The Colt Reared in Through the Tall Rider, voice meter on. And the Valve Index. The Colt Reared in Through the Tall Rider, voice meter off. The Colt Reared in Through the Tall Rider, voice meter on. So due to the placement of most VR headset microphones, it's really easy to experience a recording phenomenon known as a plosive. This happens because air that comes out of your mouth when you talk hits the microphone and the audio will peak. You'll hear it in my videos every now and then on my big mic and that's because I'm usually in a rush and it's for the same reason, air rushing into the microphone that causes the audio to get distorted. While this may not bother you so much, air and VR have a very different correlation that you likely have noticed and that's fan noise. Fans move air and that air cools you down because we all know that VR can get hot and sweaty with stagnant air. But that moving air can also make your microphone sound like absolute garbage. I'm sure all of us at some point have had someone complain to us in VR chat or Pavlov due to this exact issue. Well, this is a simple and cheap or maybe even free solution to both of those problems. This is what's called a wind jammer. It takes incoming air and deflects most of it from hitting the sensitive microphone, but still allow for the actual sound waves of your voice to go through without muffling anything. There's this kit on Amazon that makes the whole process super simple. You peel back this little tape, stick it on the headset where the microphone is, usually it's where you see a small hole, then stick on the wind jammer. Voila, wind noise and plosives no more. But if you don't feel like spending the money, a free alternative is to just snip off some foam and double side tape or glue it to your headset. While it's not going to be as perfect of a solution as the purpose made wind jammer, it still does the job of deflecting at least some of the air to get most of the turbulent air away from the microphone. I mean, it doesn't take much to do it. It's common practice in the audio industry to even put a single finger in between your mouth and the microphone microphone to cut down on plosives or wind noise. Even the small amount of foam that you cut off your wall can help massively in cutting down the amount of fan noise and plosives that you have in your audio, making everyone around you happy and your recordings and streams better for everyone watching. And now what if you have something like a Rift S or any other headset and you're completely unhappy with the microphone quality? I mean the original Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, Vive Pro, and Quest don't have amazing mics by any stretch of the imagination. And if you have a Rift S, there's a weird glitch that Oculus has yet to fix. That will make the microphone randomly go completely robot for minutes at a time. If you've ever been in Pavlov or VR chat and you hear this happen, you know it's because they have a Rift S and they're experiencing this glitch firsthand. And soon it does this. It's horrible, honestly. People can't understand you and you're likely to get muted. And the only way to completely circumvent it is if you replace the mic essentially. And that's where the mod mic wireless comes in. This is a completely wireless microphone that you could attach to almost anything. I use the mod mic for my Quest, Cosmos, and actually my regular headphones as well because it's a far, far better microphone than anything that comes on any of those. Setup on it is dead simple as well. Charge the mic, attach the magnetic base to whatever device you want, in this case, my Oculus Quest, plug in the wireless dongle to your PC, and then just attach the mod mic to the magnet. After that, just select the mod mic in your voice meter settings, or make the mic your primary input mic if you aren't using voice meter, and you're all set. Due to the pop filter built in, it does make a lot of the wind noise and plosives better, but you still don't want this microphone directly in front of your mouth, or else it'll sound pretty harsh. While this is the only real paid option here, it does give you a lot of flexibility to use this mic on almost anything that you own. And like I said, replacing the microphone on the Rift S is just about the only way to fix that gigantic glaring issue that it has of that robot mic. The Mod Mic Wireless does run around $120, but it gives you the best quality upgrade for the money that maintains a wireless nature. Plus, like I said, you could use it on almost anything for mobile high quality mic. So if you're one of the lucky few that has a Valve Index, I want to elaborate on just how nice this mic Mic actually is. You don't need to replace the microphone by any means. The only thing you really need is a wind jammer or pop filter and to mix it with something like voice meter. This video is recorded on my $600 mic setup and this is recorded using my Valve Index microphone. So you want to improve the microphone quality on your VR headset. That's absolutely incredible. I bring this up here because if you're an aspiring content creator or streamer and you like having your own voice sound juicy, saving up for an index for the mic alone might be worth your time and effort. Not many people make a big deal out of it, but I think that we should, to be honest. Moving forward, we should expect high quality microphones to be the absolute bog standard for VR headsets. None of this garbage robot audio glitch that so many Rift S owners have just had to deal with and Oculus does nothing about. It's unacceptable moving on. Of course, all the tips I've mentioned here also apply to your regular microphones. If you have a Snowball or a Blue Yeti or even a freaking Turtle Beach headset mic, you can do all these same stuff 
steps to improve your audio. Use voice meter to mix your audio. Keep your audio clean with a pop filter or wind jammer. And if all fails and you're still not happy, just upgrade the microphone. I will say a roundabout fix to using a mod mic if you don't have the money to completely eradicate that robot issue on a Rift S is to plug in and use a separate headsets microphone, like the aforementioned Turtle Beach or whatever you have laying around. It'll likely sound about the same and you should still go through voice meter for optimal performance, but it is a cheap way to get the same job done. So we got some free ways, some cheap ways, and some not so cheap ways to improve the mic quality on a VR headset. By far, the most impactful is, well, the free one. Once you get the hang of the software, it becomes a must have. And I have been using it daily for years now. It's just second nature for me to always have it running. I really think that having good mic quality in game or in a social application like VRChat is really important. We're in a time where a lot of our communication happens through the internet. And for some of us, most of that is in VR. It's hard to communicate when you just can't hear someone's voice correctly. And to best get whatever we're trying to say out to whoever's listening, at least attempting to have the best microphone possible is pretty important. All it takes is a little bit of effort and you'll have some massive results. I also want to mention that none of these are paid or sponsored promotions, just software and items that I enjoy. Although months back, Antlion did provide a mic to me, but that was under zero obligation for me to even talk about it. They were just being kind. And also, you don't have to use voice meter in particular. You could use any mixing software and it'll work just fine. I've just used voice meter for forever, so that's what I'll talk about. Well, I hope you got the most out of this video possible. And the next time that your buddy's mic is being obnoxiously loud due to a fan or plosives, or they sound like a robot, send them this video and tell them to set themselves straight. Thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for everything you do for me and this channel. I couldn't be doing any of this without you, especially my Omegas like Very Evil Shadow, Zimf, and Benji. Don't forget to like this video if you loved it, subscribe if you want more of this, and hit that freaking bell if you just can't live without it. Much love, thrill out.